Phoenix weaves past the defender. He shoots! <laughs> goal! Oh, and a goal! On the end, son! Pass! Pass to me! Pass it! We have suspected naughtiness at Beano Town Park. Uh, I'm in the park now. Uh, out. Oh, where did they go? Aha! And it all hinges on this final penalty kick. He shoots! <laughs> Takes the ball! Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh. What the dickens is going on, Slipper? Well, it's that Dennis, sir. That child, Dennis? All this is the work of a child? Well, he's no ordinary child, sir. Uh, run me ragged for years, he has. I think it's time you had some help to catch him. A splendid trainee of mine from police college. Smashing fellow. He's sharp, efficient and has legs like tree trunks. Sergeant Slipper, I think it's time I introduced you to Sergeant Boot. Come on, Nasher. Let's skate. Whoa! Wow! What was that? <laughs> Someone's taken the wheels off. <laughs> Who are you? Boot, Sergeant Boot. Oh, good. I think someone's stolen the wheels from a skateboard. I know, I did. Health and safety. Skateboards cause damage to public property. Now, empty your pockets. Oh dear, very dangerous. It's a yo yo, it's just a toy. <laughs> Yo-yos used irresponsibly also cause damage. Danger neutralized. Now, we must examine all your possessions for possible hazards. Good. That's all the dangerous stuff. Though, this dog is an Abyssinian tripound, is it not? Riddled with fleas they are. He'll have the whole town scratching. Better put him in quarantine. Just to be safe. Put, 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 put. Wait! Come back! Nasha! What kept you? Nash is in trouble. We've got to help him. Boot confiscated our wheels. And the seats. And my little silver bell. Never mind that. Come on! Wait, Mr Ha Ha. Don't close up yet. We've got to mount a rescue operation to get Nasha back. No children allowed in joke shops. Order of me. Boot, where's my Nasha? Locked up, horrible flea bag. Don't you dare say that about Nasha. On your way, or I'll run you in for aggravated cheek. <laughs> Congratulations, Boot. All these fine arrests. Outstanding. No tennis, though. Only a matter of time, sir. As soon as he steps out of line, he's mine. Get out there, Slipper, and if you can't measure up to boot, then that's what I'll be giving you. The boot. Get it? Nah, the boot, Slipper. But I've already got boots, sir. Out! Poor Nash is in a cage. And it sounds like Sergeant Slipper's boss wants to give his job to boot. Well, I'll fix him. Look out! Shall I compare the... Come on now, break it up. We're just reading poems. It's a front for mischief. From now on, no children will be allowed to congregate in groups larger than... one. What about chess club? <laughs> That's harmless enough, surely. Too dangerous? Oh, we just sit on chairs. Chairs mean danger. What about drama club? Out of the question. And safety club? Far too dangerous. But it was Sergeant Slipper who set up the safety club. Well, I think it's safe to say Old Slipper will be looking for a new job now I've single-handedly cleaned up Beano Town. Now go. Trouble with Boot, Walter? Yes. He's a rotten spoil sport. Almost makes you miss Slipper, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Such a polite, charming man. OK, don't overdo it, Walter. But, yeah, Slipper's all right. And now Boot's after his job. Oh, my. Who's in charge of Beano Town? Yeah, if only old Slipper could show him up. 
catch a few criminals of his own. Not very likely, though, is it? Maybe he could do with a little bit of help. What do you say? Well, just this once. Thanks for these, uh, walkie-talkies, Mr. Ha-Ha. Fox One, you ready? Uh, Foxy Fox Man One, ready? Now remember, Pieface, you're trying to get Sergeant Flipper to catch you. Gotcha. Oi, stop that! Now, uh, I'm fairly certain that's littering. Oh, my tail's falling off. Right, you. You're... Oh. Fox One, did Slipper catch you? Uh, oh! Ow! Not exactly. Littering, eh? Naughty boy. Fox One, Fox One, hello. Fox Two, come in, you ready? Yeah, Fox Two ready. Uh, uh, hey, what's this? Uh, vandalism, eh? Yep, on purpose. Oh, dear me. Oh, I'm going to have to book you, Curly. Now then, uh, where's my notebook? Um... Sergeant? Ah, no excuses. Oh, ow! Did he get you? Not quite. Vandalise the mare, will you? Into the van. Fox 3, come in. Yes, Fox 3. Oh, my. I hear footsteps. Sergeant Slipper's coming! Oh! Sergeant Boots! Oh, Walter. You're a long way from Safety Club, aren't you? A mess. But you still have Fox 4, don't you? Of course! Fox 4, go! Ow! Oh! Oh! A rogue biker in the high street. All units to the high street, over. Aha! A proper arrest! <laughs> Arrest you in the name of the law. Oh, Sergeant Slipper. I've met me match. I'll come quietly. No, you don't, Slipper. He's mine. I suppose this is your doing. No, sir. I can explain, sir. I have subdued a dangerous rogue biker, sir. What's this? Oh, I was having some trouble controlling my mobility bike, you see. And a policeman was helping me. <laughs> and then this thug left on board. But, sir, she's a menace, a dangerous criminal. <laughs> she's only a little old lady. Indeed. Looks like you've been working too hard, Boot. Oh, here comes that nice policeman now. Such a kindly, polite gentleman. What happened to the rogue? Thanks for helping me, Grand Slipper. Yes, good lad, Slipper. My apologies, madam, uh, and to you, Dennis. Uh, I leapt to conclusions. Now, see the lady home, Slipper, while I have words with Boot about this great big hole in my police station. Catch you later, Fox Four. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two grinning at, eh? You look like best friends. Friends? Really? You'd hardly expect me to associate with a common lout like him, would you, Sergeant? And I definitely don't play with big wussies like him. No. No, of course you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too, pal. Good to have you back. I must admit, the place hasn't been quite the same without your hairy friend. <laughs> Although, he still hasn't learned any manners. <laughs> everything back to normal, eh, Walter? Hmm, yes. Everything back to normal. <laughs> Oh, get off, Masha! It's 
on, Curly. It's Saturday. Yeah, and guess what? The fair's in town. The fair? Give me five minutes. Choo-choo. <laughs> Here comes the train bee. <laughs> Good girl, Bean. <laughs> Dennis, that's disgusting. No. Sit down and eat properly. No time, Mum. I I'm meeting Curly and Pieface at the fair. Oh, no, you're not. I need you to look after Bee while I'm at my relaxation class. Oh, Mum, can you take her with you? Well, that wouldn't be very relaxing, would it? Yeah, it'd be fine. Bee could chill out too, couldn't you, Bee? <laughs> See? She said yes. No more argument, Dennis. It won't hurt you to look after your little sister for a couple of hours. But, Mum, I want to go to the fair. Well, you'll just have to take her with you. <laughs> what do we doing first, Dennis? Coconut shy. Remember all the great stuff we won last year? <laughs> Hang on! These balls are foam rubber! Oh, yes, uh, new regulations, see? We can't have kids like you winning everything. Uh, I mean, injuring yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind the coconuts. Let's have a go on the dodgems. Yeah, maybe we can beat the speed record we set up last year. Never mind fun, you just keep to the speed limit. We could have walked faster than those dodgems. Don't worry, Pieface, there are plenty more rides. We'll have a go on the big swing. Oh, yeah. Who oh, now, son? Health and safety in it. More than me job's worth. Oh, I've had more fun in one of Mrs Creature's detentions. Yeah, it's almost like they don't want us to have a good time. Don't panic, boys. There's got to be something worth having a go on. <gasps> Bouncy Castle! Bouncy Castle! Hey, well spotted, B. We'll be all right now, boys. We always have a good time on the bouncy castle. <laughs> but, Dan, what if it's not as good as last year? Yeah, what if it's a totally non-bouncy castle? Nah, you can't mess around with a bouncy castle. It'll be great. Come on! All oh, right, you lot. Hold it right there. What's up? We only want to go on the castle. No chance. I remember you from last year. Cause chaos, you did. Come on, mister. We're only having fun. Yeah, well, there'll be no more of your kind of fun round here. I've changed the rules. Now the bouncy castle is only for children under the age of four. Ha-ha! <laughs> Fair enough. Sure, so you can have a go, then. As long as they don't have a brother called Dennis. You can't do that! <laughs> oh, yes, I can. My castle, my rules. One go and Bouncy Castle! Sorry, B. You heard what the man said. Go and Bouncy Castle! Hoppy do a poo! Hey, B, look! He's 
not my fault. You just can't! Hey, Charlie, fancy a cup of coffee? I don't mind if I do. Or maybe you can. Must have been helium, like you put in balloons. Well, serves him right. He should have let you have a go, shouldn't he, B? B? Where is she? Uh, Dennis, you're not going to like this. What? What aren't I going to like? B? B flying! Ah! I know, Den. We could call in the Air Force. Send up a team of budgies? <laughs> no! I'll go up in a hang glider. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Or oh, we could send up the human cannonball. That's the daftest idea yet, Pie Face. It's miles too high. You couldn't shoot a person up there. You'd need something loads lighter, like... Like... <coughs> like a dog. <coughs> Go on, Nash. You can do it. <coughs> Go on, boy. For B. <coughs> for a controlled emergency descent. <laughs> Darling, has Dennis been looking after you properly? We have fun with Den Den. Be fly up in air. <laughs> Did you? Oh, that's nice, darling. Well, Dennis, I'm so relaxed I've booked another class for next week. So I might want you to look after B again. That's all right, Mum. B's no trouble. Are you, B? Good girl. <laughs> Lovely, Dennis. Here, you and your friends go and enjoy yourselves. Wow! Thanks, Mum! <laughs> I'll take that. This little menace has ruined my lovely bouncy castle. Whoa! 
I'm home! Guess what? I found the ideal material for our new kitchen curtains. Look. Oh, yes. Very nice, dear. And it was the very last piece they had. It's perfect! I'll have my dream kitchen at last! Oh, you haven't got a far with the painting, though, have you? I'm taking extra special care, dear. You can't rush a good job, you know. Hmm. All right. I'll go and look for curtain rails. Bye! Whatever you do, don't let anything happen to that material. <laughs> of course not, dear. I'll guard it with me life. Shame about the kite, Nasha. But it wasn't big enough anyway. <laughs> no. What we need is a big sail so we can go really fast. <laughs> 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 to make a sail for my skateboard. Got any ideas? Why, <sighs> what? Hey! Can I use that? Uh, yeah. Cool! Thanks, Dad! So perfect, years, and now look at it, ruined. Um, I, I couldn't possibly have me sail back, could I? No, you can't. I'm confiscating it. It's a danger to public safety, and so are you. But you can't do that. It's not yours. Can't I? Watch me. No, wait. Hello, Dennis. Where are you? Are you bringing that material back? Yeah, I'll be right there, Dad. Just uh, um, having a chat with the Colonel. Oh, right, Nasha, this is getting serious. <laughs> well, might as well get some use out of it. I've always wanted a hammock. <laughs> Magnificent. That's well out of order. Right. Surely he doesn't think I'm going to fall for that old trick. So the little ruffian wants a battle of wits, does he? Well, he's going to find he's bitten off more than he can chew. Uh, 
finish with you! <laughs> right. The little pest thinks he's so clever. Let's see how he copes with this. Come and get it now, if you dare. <laughs> he hasn't reckoned with your mighty munch power, has he, Natcha? <laughs> And I know how to get there without him seeing us. <laughs> have to stay calm. <laughs> stay calm. <laughs> breathe. Don't forget to breathe. <gasps> hmm. No sign of him. What's he up to, eh? We must be there. I can feel something. We'll have to get it out the way. Go on, Nasha. Do your stuff. <laughs> Find something to block it. Oh dear. would love to help, wouldn't you? Of course, Dad. Go and get the material then, son. Oh, no. Not that one. What? I changed my mind. I thought we'd have this one instead. What do you think? Ever. It's not even out till next week. Father knows the boss at the Weihei factory. <laughs> it's here in Bino Town, you know. Yeah, I took the factory tour. They've got demo models. It's ace. How about giving them a game? All right, but let's make it interesting. Anyone I beat has to come to after school club with us. Oh, yes, it's fun. Uh, we're doing form filling today and tidying. And cooking. Yikes! They should call it worse than school club. As long as you win, you've got nothing to worry about. 
Press play, Walter. Please, please, please. OK. The game's rock guitar legend. You sure? I always win at rock guitar legend. Absolutely. Here goes. the game code and rock guitar legend becomes air violin legend. <laughs> go free. If I lose, I'll go for the rest of the year. <laughs> but I should be allowed to do some homework too. Lend me a manual and I'll meet you at after school club. Unless you're chicken, of course. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Is it in the field? Oh, no, I can't. Like... It's a deal, but if you don't show up, the whole of Beano Town will know you're chicken. I was just buying time. The factory's in Beano Town, right? Yes. If I can sneak some practice time on a demo model, I'll have a chance of beating Walter. Huh? It's a long shot, but I can't let Curly and Pie Face down. Let's get on the next factory tour. Yes. Welcome to After School Club. First, form fill in. Every good citizen should be able to complete a form neatly. <laughs> oh. <gasps> As you can see, the factory is fitted with the latest high tech security. What about the way, hey? Are you going to show us a way, hey? And to protect the delicate machinery, a super advanced climate control system. I heard you've got demo models! Indeed. Here is the very first demo model of the way, hey. Anybody mind if I have first go? <laughs> this model is for display only. This is no good! We've got to get our hands on a way, hey! Hmm... A good citizen's home is a dust-free home. where they make the way here. There's got to be a finished one in here somewhere. Knew it! 
system alerted us the moment you entered an unauthorized area. Your every move was monitored and analyzed. We were impressed. Very impressed. Y you were? Yes. I just want to ask you one question. How would you like to star in our next game? Our top designer has been working flat out, creating the environment and characters based on your special moves. <laughs> we, we thought we'd call the game Grand Denismo. <laughs> Excellent! And I'll give it a live test! If you want to join After School Club, you'll have to come back next week. He'll be here, Mrs Creature. I'm about to make sure of it. What's it going to be, Dennis? Rock guitar legend? Boogie Breakdown Dance Master? Grand Dennis Mo! Huh? I'll take you all on! Ready? Game on! Dennis must want to come to After School Club forever! Tell us what to do, Walter! I will thrash him! Uh, uh, I don't know what to do! I've never seen this game before! <laughs> tonight are way out of my allowance range. Oh, we're going to miss the Mr Magnifico fight. Mr Magnifico? Is that an animal, vegetable or mineral? Definitely animal. Oh, Mum, he's the best wrestler in the tag team universe. Pie face and Curly are going. Could I have an advance on my allowance to get a ticket too? Please. <sighs> Dad? How much are these tickets? Uh, they're only... How much? But it's a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... The answer's no, Dennis. N-O spells no. Oh, 
Come on, Nasha. It's not fair, Nasha. Everyone's going to see Mr Magnifico wrestle tonight. Including me. What? You? Yes. It's the perfect place to try out my new moves. <gasps> you have moves? First aid moves. I'm a bandage master. <laughs> First class. <laughs> bandage. I knew you couldn't be a wrestling fan. Wrestling? <laughs> Certainly not. I shall be attending in my capacity of... Junior first aider! With your mum! <gasps> mum? Why didn't she say something? I've only just heard myself. These are the backstage passes from First Aid HQ. Brilliant! Looks like we're going nowhere! These are for First Aid badge holders only. But what? Where do I get a first aid badge? You don't just get a badge, silly. You have to earn it by passing your first aid test. Test? OK, I'll do it. I mean, how hard can it be? <laughs> Dennis volunteering to take a test? This I've got to see. So, down to business. When, where and who's the judge? That will be me. <laughs> you? Oh, come on, Nasha. We'd better get some practice in. Our studying over. Let's go get that badge. Shall we begin? Dennis, one needs a basic knowledge of anatomy to pass this test. Can you point to the pelvic yeah. bone? There. The pelvis has left the building. <laughs> well done, Dennis. Thank you very much. Everyone's entitled to one lucky guess. OK. Where's the clavicle? The radius? The carpal? The metatarsals? The... Hey! Where's the skull? I think that's enough academic testing for today, Walter. Let's move on to the practical tests. Did you learn all that at school? <laughs> no, Dad. Living with a bone magnet like Nasha, you can't help learn a lot about bones. <laughs> Let's see how good you are at dealing with a practical test. Bring it on! You stand in as the patient. Me? But I just... My... Oh, all right. OK, Dennis. Let's imagine the patient has sprained his ankle. What do you do? I know what to do, Mum. Lots of kids get sprained ankles in football practice. Especially when you're playing. OK, Dad. Time to elevate your foot. And... Apply a cold compress. Coming right up, Nasha. Ouch! Ouch! Frozen fish. Frozen sausages. <laughs> Rolls and chips. That should be enough now, Nasha. Let's go. <laughs> All done. Thanks to you, Nasha. Hey, where's Nasha? Where do you think? <laughs> is suffering from heat stroke. What do you do to help? Uh, cool him down? Well done. Yes, but how exactly? Easy! Nasha, jumper! <laughs> Remove excess clothing. And douse with water to cool. Freezing! Oh! Job done! Uh, hmm. He appears to have fainted. Fainted? 
We must get the blood flowing back to his head. I'm on it, Mum! Dennis, Walter's marking the test, not me. You mean I really failed? Unless you can prove to Walter that your bandage techniques are good enough. Yes. I'll be ready to go to the wrestling right after tea. Here's your pass. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Remember, practice makes perfect. <laughs> Come on, Nasha. We've got some serious practicing to do. Hey! What about me? Oh. <laughs> Coast clear, Nasha. <laughs> right, Nasha. Time for the first aid showdown. Right. Earplugs to drown out all the screaming and shouting. Extra safety pins, extra plasters, extra strong smelling salts. I understand the ringside can get a bit hot and bothered. <laughs> Phew! It's showdown time, Walter. Meet the fastest bandager in the West. <laughs> If I win, I get my badge. And if you lose, I won't. Huh. We'll see about that. Hmm. Not bad for a beginner. <laughs> <laughs> Beat that! I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> now that's what I call good bandage technique. I reckon I'd pass now, don't you, Walter? <laughs> all right, all right. You pass the test. You get your badge. Yahoo! Mr. Magnifico, here we come! <laughs> what about me? Eyes on the audience, not the entertainment, Dennis. Remember, we're here to watch the crowd, not the wrestling. No! No wonder they let us in for free. What a disaster! We've got ringside seats and I can't even watch my hero wrestle. Oh. Uh, sorry, kid. Uh, no problem, <laughs> Mr. Magnifico. Uh, payback time! <laughs> <laughs> Can't afford one of these. What? And look like a complete muppet. <laughs> Let's test the rocket overdrive, Nasha. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> Oh, 
I suppose you think that's funny, do you? Oh, 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 I, I, oh. Oh. oh, no! But, Dennis, what exactly have you done to deserve a new skateboard? Uh, there must be something. No, dear, there isn't. But I do have an idea. It's your school prize-giving soon. Prize-giving? Yes, where Walter's parents always look down their noses at us because he wins everything. Now, if you want something for a change... You get me a new skateboard, right? I was going to say it would just be so lovely for us all. And you get me a new skateboard? Dennis, if you win a prize, I'll happily buy you this. The very best skateboard in the catalogue. Wow! But what could you get a prize for? You haven't done very much work, have you, Dennis? There must be one I can win. It won't be easy, Dennis. To be quite honest with you, if you can pull this off, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> Morning, Mrs Creature. How about a nice juicy apple to get your day off to a cracking start? All right, Dennis. What's your game? No game, miss. Here, I'll take that. Oi! I want to carry it for you. What? Please? Oh! I thought you might like some flowers from my garden. Oh, Dennis, I feel a little faint. Oh, let me help you to your chair. Good morning, Mrs Creature. I brought you a flower. <laughs> oh, that's kind, dear. Uh, put it in there with the ones Dennis brought. <gasps> Heavens, Dennis. If you keep this up, you'll be a contender for the Good Behaviour Prize. How else am I going to get this skateboard? Good behaviour's the only prize you don't need top grades for. But you'll never beat Walter at sucking up to Mrs Creature. <laughs> <laughs> you never spoke a true word. I thought you might like two apples today, Mrs Creature. Or would you prefer a bowl of delicious fruit salad? Ooh. Might one carry all the leaves for you, Mrs Creature? No need for that. My men will carry you and your bag straight to the classroom. <laughs> Dennis means business. We have to stop him. What are we going to do, Walter? Overwhelm him with superior firepower. Nobody beats me at sucking up. Morning, Mrs Creature. Thought you might like tea and toast today. Or maybe you prefer to choose from a selection of freshly baked pastries and ground continental coffee. Cappuccino or latte? It's prize giving today, but old creature still won't say who's ahead. Yes, yes, yes. Still, at least there'll be loads of food afterwards. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll try and bring you back some sausages. <laughs> so, may the best man win, eh? No doubt who that is, Walter. Face it, Dennis. It would take a miracle for you to beat me. Ah, boys, I'd like you to meet our guest speaker, Sir Arthur Guff. Dennis and Walter are the front runners for the Good Behaviour Prize. Is that so? Well, he's the hooligan who knocked me over in the park the other day. Walter, is this true? It, it, it was an accident, miss. And then he ran away. You can't give him the best behaviour prize. He's a disgrace to the school. Well, it was neck and neck, but that settles it. Dennis, the prize is yours. What? Yes! 
Manufacturer of plastic coated string. <clears throat> if life has taught me one thing, it is that to succeed in life, you need a good piece of string. <clears throat> now, many people will tell you that string has no personality. Eh? Nothing could be further from the truth. Dennis, hand that dog over this instant. What? No, miss, please. Oh, I might have known this was all too good to be true. Hand him over now or there's no prize. So, I always tie a piece of string to my big toe. Oh, I remember, I don't tie a string for my birthday. What's happening? Bring that dog here! Oh. special prize for outstanding individual achievement and it goes to Dennis we're so proud of you Dennis this is the happiest day of our we're going straight from here to the shops to buy you that skateboard. Thanks, Dad. But weren't you going to eat your hat as well? <laughs> Have this one, dear. I'm tired of it. Thanks very much, dear. Shall we?